Hey guys, it's your boy Zios, and I hope you guys are enjoying your stories of afternoon event. But yeah, we gotta talk about what is coming next, so let's do that right now. Thank you, just everybody, for all your support. And if you're new to the channel, hope you guys, I hope I earn your subscription today. All right, it's time to quickly go over the timeline, recap it real quick. Arc Knights Global EN server came up online January 16th. We got Kaobi's banner seven months and 10 days after the EN servers launch. Now the CN servers launched May 1st, 2019, and they got Kaobi's banner 2020, February 25th. So for the CN server, they got Kaobi almost 10 months afterwards. Now after Kaobi's banner on the CN server, things started to go, you know, Lambo, Lambo speed, baby. They started to get like operators pretty pretty quickly 12 days after kaobi they got bagpipe on the cn server on march 17th as for the yen server kaobi's banner is ending september 2nd and we're going to get contingency contract number one baron land in the middle of september confirmed and most likely 99.9 percent is going to be tied with bagpipe so with her banner we're gonna get some new operators of course we're gonna get that four star utage as well as a five star operator sessa i already made a video about bagpipe and i'm going to make more videos about her because i just love talking about her but to quickly touch over her um that sounded co okay well, whatever every cm player that you come across will tell you that from their experience and from their opinion that bagpipe is just amazing just totally worth it is she game breaking I mean, you don't really need her. Like, you don't, okay, let me just say this real quick. You don't need any of the operators that I mentioned today. And that's the beauty of Arc Knights. But as you get into CC1 and 2, like, especially if you're trying to go for like higher risks in the end game, yo, like, yeah, Bagpipe, Nino, whatever you want to call her, she's going to help you out so much because. There are going to be stages that you are just DP deprived in the beginning. Even in the new event right now, there are stages where in the beginning you just need DP real quick. And that's what Bagpipe does with her second talent. Even with one copy, it makes a big difference. Potential five, yeah, it's nice and all. But even with one copy, she she's a banger. And she does insane damage, especially skill three. She's pretty much like a guard, dude. Like, if you don't believe me, ask anybody on the CN server that has her or play with her or borrowed her. Anyways, as a free-to-play player, you cannot, unless your RNG is godlike, you cannot get every operator, like, the moment they are released. But, like, if you can get your hands on Bagpipe, she is worth the save. Now, even with that being said, this is you logging into your game every day. So I strongly believe that you should try to get an operator that you really have attachments for that you really love but if we're speaking meta over waifu and making your life simpler and enabling you to go into like higher end game content then yeah bagpipe is your girl on the cn server a month after bagpipe and cc number one they got phantom shamer cutter and of course telopsis but telopsis and you know in the previous banner with bagpipe zima zima and telopsis the not new operators yeah, yeah you guys know that yeah so yeah they got phantom a month afterwards but here's a funny thing before phantom's banner went away they also got elysium w and weedy hmm during the first anniversary event on the CN server. Now, whatever I say from now on is not confirmed. We're just speculating here. The best we can do is still prepare, right? As a free-to-play, low-budget player. Is Phantom going to be coming to the global servers in October? Is it going to be late September, early October, mid-October? We have no freaking idea. Same thing goes with W. Weedy, the first anniversary banner. Is it even going to come right at like with phantom or a month after maybe in december do you want to capitalize with like christmas spendings i don't know we don't know i'm just speculating here but if you're a w fan then you just gotta think ahead the earliest that it can come is maybe october most likely november onwards okay phantom is an interesting operator he is one of my favorite husbandos he's just so cool i i, I just love you know what? I'm not going to talk about appearances, but I've been doing that way too much lately. But yeah, in terms of performance, once again, he is not needed. In order to clear the current content, even up till what CN has right now, you don't need any of the operators that I mentioned today. I already said that. Phantom has a little bit higher you know, skill cap to use correctly, but he is nonetheless, like whether you're like pro Arc Knights player or not, 
fuck, it's a PvE game. You still can have a lot of fun with Phantom and his clone. The clone is interesting. It has the same skills that Phantom has. And when you deploy the clone, it starts internally. It starts a timer, 40 seconds redeployment time. You can shave that down by e 2 in your Phantom. And of course, Phantoms as well with potentials so what i mean by that is when you drop your clone and it dies within a second then you have to wait 39 seconds to redeploy it it's gonna cost five dps every time um if it doesn't die <laughs> if it doesn't get smashed and it lives for 40 seconds then after 40 seconds you could just recall and drop it again you, you get the point right so skill three the cc is nice but uh project red is more reliable skill three is still pretty cool you can drop phantom for the cc and then drop the clone right afterwards for the double cc that's cool but rng based skill two is where it's at he turns into an assassin of course his clone gets the same skill and they just become bros assassin bros when you drop this guy with skill two with max skill he's gonna have 10 layers of stackable attack buff so every time he swings once again not needed but really fun dude i really like this operator he, he saved me a lot in spicy situations on the cn server dude now, Shamir is very interesting. You can see at E2 her range. She is pretty cheap to deploy. Is she game breaking? Nah, nah, but she's fucking cute, all right? So if you're gonna be pulling for Phantom, Shamir is pretty damn dope. Now the skill two, Cursed All, inflicts minus 50% attack and defense to nearby enemies after being deployed and self-destructs after 15 seconds. That sounds cool as shit, man. She's a debuffer, y'all. She's a cheap debuffer and she looks fucking kawaii that's Shamir. Now this video is not just talking about the operators. I want to also talk about the major events tied with these operators. I'm not going to talk about the side events just yet, but yeah, Phantom comes with Dark Knight's memoir. This event is really generous. The reason I say this is not because of the rewards that you're seeing on your screen, but there are also three stages that you want to be pretty much farming that you're seeing on your screen right now as well. Once again on the CN server, right near the end of Phantom's banner, they got W, Elysium, and Weedy. Now W is a limited operator, the only limited operator in that banner, not Weedy, not Elysium, just W. Now for the new folks out there, limited means that you can only get the operator during the limited time it's up. The first limited operator was Nien and Hypergriff did say, they did confirm that Nien will come back. We just don't know when, but I, I do see W coming back sometime in the future, maybe far, far future, but yeah. I can see it coming back. Now as for W, most people use it for skill two. Can you use skill three? Of course, but most people use it for skill two to pretty much place landmines within our attack range. These landmines have great CC with the stuns and they do a lot of damage, but the thing is it's physical damage. So you just need to be mindful of that. And she fits into this like archetype of AOE sniper, which is not really doing well in the current meta. W is pretty much like a vanity item. She plays an important role in the lore, but in terms of meta or gameplay, she's not needed. However, another operator starting with W, Weedy, who is not a limited operator, she's doing well in the end game content um, for meme content as well. Skill two, skill three, skill three with that true damage. Yeah, pretty much ignores armor and any uh, uh, magical resistance. CM players have done a poll and they have found Weedy to be way more beneficial than W in the end game content. There's a lot of good things to say about Weedy, but I just want to keep it short. If you're going to pull for, I, I know a lot of you guys free to play. Also, you're going to, you're, you're looking towards that W's banner, right? But if you get Weedy, don't be disappointed whatsoever. Actually, there are people that are just pulling for Weedy as well. She's not like Ock whatsoever, like people who got Ock instead of Nian, they were like pretty salty. But if you get Weedy and not W, I'd still be happy. I mean, sure, W is limited and you can get Weedy in other banners, but yeah, you get the point. But the thing about this banner that makes it so nice is Elysium. As you guys can see from the talent, Elysium has crazy synergy with snipers, but skill two, man, skill two right there. Can you guys see it? Let me scroll. Yeah, there we go. Stops attacking like Myrtle. It's like pretty much five star version of Myrtle. Gains, gives you DP. When you activate the skill, it's not blocking shit like, Myr <laughs> like Myrtle. When you pop this skill, it locks onto four nearby opponents. Not during the skills, 
you know animation but when you pop it it locks on to four enemy uh operators and what does it do they get their speed reduced at max skill you can see that at 60 percent not only that 35 percent defense reduction and they lose their stealth so he's like myrtle with debuffing like him and myrtle together and bagpipe on top Oof. so this is all i want to talk about right now just to give you guys a short heads up of what is to come i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you guys smash that like uh that would really help for the youtube algorithm yeah and um subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this i'll always update you guys with art nights global news i always do that in this channel i, I do everything here anyways that's gonna wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out for now. Your boy Zeus. Peace.